Another edition of Tech Tuesday, where I'm going to be going over the Fusion Smart Speed timers. Overall, eight and a half out of 10, and I'm gonna explain why. Going over the specificity, versatility, portability, consistency, all those other factors of these Fusion Smart Speed timers. But first, the specificity. So if you do speed training, if that is one of your things that you advertise, you as a coach, a practitioner, or if you say my athletes are getting faster, that is one of your key performance indicators, KPIs, you have to be measuring your speed work. If your athletes are getting faster or if they're not the effect of your training. So huge benefits, the specificity of these, this is literally what they're made for is measuring speed. But that is one of the biggest things. If there's anything you do related to speed work, you need lasers. And I'm a big fan of the smart speed timers, eight and a half out of 10. And here's why. First, the versatility. So it's literally just a laser and a mirror. And when the athlete breaks the laser. So we often have lasers 10 yards apart. We either do a five yard lead in, so an acceleration, or a flying 10, 20 plus yards. You can use multiple together to get splits for a 40, a 60, something like that. You can use one laser at a time for a pro shuttle or a 510 a 180 cut, where you run through the laser, run back. And I've even gotten creative knowing how it works and we can time curve running as well. So super versatile, can measure a bunch of different things relative to speed and portability. It comes with a nice travel case, the stands for the laser in the mirror uh, break down to compress, and you can take them basically anywhere as long as you have a tape measure to measure out all of your distances. So you can measure a bunch of different stuff relative to speed, it is super versatile, and it's wireless as well. Consistency and battery life. Now we've had these lasers, I wanna say eight plus years, and we've only had to get them serviced once. And like any technology, over time they're gonna deteriorate, especially if you're getting your use out of them, which we definitely do we use these all day, every day. So the battery life, one charge will last us from noon until 8 p.m. plus. Now we are intentional about turning the lasers off in between coaches, in between athletes. Sometimes they get left on in between, but usually they're turned off. But one charge can definitely last us that whole time span. Now consistency wise, sometimes we'll notice that the lasers are running a little hot, fast or a little slow, but often that's just if they've, the lasers have been cooking or they've been on for a little bit too long. So as long as you're intentional about turning them off when they're not in use, the battery life is more than enough and they're super consistent as long as they're being serviced and stuff like that. But we get our use out of them and super consistent. Athlete feedback and setup. Now this is super objective, super quick, super direct feedback. An athlete knows time and seconds. So we have the iPad set up, airplay to the TV, to at the end of the track, the athlete immediately knows what the lasers are spitting out for their time. Or even if we're out in the main turf space, we can set the iPad up against the lasers, blow up the screen, and then the athlete finishes their sprint or their pro shuttle, whatever it may be, looks at the iPad and they immediately know their time. So direct, instant feedback for the athletes. And set up. So it can be a little bit uh, time consuming to get all the lasers the right height, get the stands going, connect them, measure them out, uh, line them up. But in the facility at least, because we use them so consistently, we leave the stands up and the mirrors. So you literally just have to take the laser from the charger, put it on, make sure it's lined up, connect to the iPad and it's good to go. So pretty quick setup if it's, a, if it's consistent and super direct, understandable feedback for the athletes, huge benefit actually using it. So the app works with iPad, iPhone, and Android, even though we're only team iPhone anyways, obviously. But it's nice to have that option in case you're out at the field and the iPad's not working, you forget an iPad, you have your phone as a backup because you always have your phone on you. But, so how lasers work is they're on a certain channel and then they're lined up on that channel. So we have four lasers, very fortunately, and we have channel zero. So the first laser is zero, zero. The second one is zero, one. And we can have a completely different set of la or different set of lasers on channel one. So one, zero and one, one. So within the lasers, you can do multiple things that they're not gonna interfere as long as you have the, it, it all set up correct. But as well, if you have four lasers, you can get the zero, the 10, the 30 and the 40. So you can get the first 10 yards, the last 10 yards and the entire 40 itself. So multiple lasers just increases the versatility of them. It's convenient with iPads, iPhones, and unfortunately, Androids. Finally, the moment of truth, the price. So my boss bought these a while ago. He believes that they were around 1,000, 1,200 for one laser. Now don't quote me. If you're really interested, hit Fusion for the actual prices, but one laser will say 1,200 for $4,800. Now I know that that sounds super expensive. We use these every day 
they're consistent, we know that they're legit. We use these for combines whenever we get hired out, contracted out to do combines for football teams, baseball teams, whatever it may be, showcases. Super legit laser, you get your use out of them. They're consistent, only had to service them once in the last eight years. Now, but that's the only reason why it's an eight and a half out of 10. Now I wanna give it a nine, I wanted to give it a 10, but at the end of the day, I didn't cut the check and I have to be conscious that money is a thing. So that's the price, that's why it's an eight and a half out of 10. Versatile, portable, very consistent, good battery life, a ton of different uses out of it, direct feedback for the athletes and super consistent to speed training.